Good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel. It is a new day and actually it's Sunday and it's a new week. For those of you that have been traveling my journey with me, I did have surgery on Monday and it went very well. I came home from the hospital on Monday and felt like a million bucks. Tuesday, ugh, I think things started to wear off. And by Wednesday and Thursday, I was like, this body which felt like a million bucks who prides itself in my ability to have a high tolerance of pain, um, came to a screeching halt. I now have a new admiration for anybody who has ever had a C-section or who has had similar surgery. I chose not to fill any of my prescriptions and I'm not going to say it was a good idea or a bad idea, but it was what I chose to do and um, sort of like being against medical advice, M -A, I don't know what they call it, but you know what I'm saying? Well, I want to thank everybody for their thoughts, prayers, texts, food, um, visits. I think I've sort of covered everything. Calls um, during this week. I am on the mend and I am going to be speaking at church um, this, after, this morning. And um, it will be brief because um, to give any exertion of abdominal effort is just difficult. So this week, um, many songs have um, come to my mind. And the first one I'm going to sing is um, called Day by Day. And it goes, day by day, and with each passing moment, strength I find to meet my trials here, trusting in my Father's wise bestowment, I've no cause for weary or fear. He whose heart is kind beyond all measure, gives unto each day what he deems best. Lovingly, it's part of pain and pleasure, mingling toil with peace and rest. Now I see why all those tattoo parlors are called pain and pleasure. I didn't have much pain, especially getting in and out of bed, changing positions, and that's why I decided to not go on any uneven turf today and decided to do it here in my den. Um, the next song I'm gonna sing is um, Count Your Blessings. I think it's something that we all need to do, especially when we have our health, when we are physically without any kind of ailment. Um, when you thought what was gonna be a minor procedure, and it really was, I don't want to make more out of it than it is. I mean, it is so minor on the grand scheme of things that could be wrong. Um, we just need to count our blessings. And that goes, When upon life's billows you are tempest-tossed, When you are discouraged thinking all is lost, Count your many blessings, count them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. You know, it is amazing that something we take for granted at the very center of our core, unless you're in a bathing suit and have a six-pack, 
um, we just sort of ignore our belly buttons. And um, this week I was very conscious of my core when I would lean up against the counter or I would try to squeeze between two things and it just got touched. And that's where I went into the, what my sermon's gonna be about is people who push your buttons, whether it's words, whether it's actions. It's just amazing how you could be having the best day in the world, the flowers are blooming, the birds are singing, and all of a sudden in a New York minute, your whole person changes just like when I or someone bumped my belly button this week. So I'm going to talk about people pushing our buttons, but it's great to have friends who, when we pop our buttons like the Incredible Hulk, when he has a fit of rage, that um, there's someone there to help us sew our buttons back on. And those buttons are all from a variety of walks of life. And that is the beauty of this world we live in. So um, the last song I'm gonna sing is called Great Is Thy Faithfulness. And it goes, Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. And just like that, my seven minutes have gone by. Again, thank you for being my friend this week, whoever you are, and you know who you are. So 10 o'clock, St. John's United Church of Christ, 204 Leonard Street in South Amherst, just south of 113. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're always welcome to come worship with us. Um, I won't be pushing any buttons today. Um, oh, no, I, I might be, but would love to have you join us. Um, we are singing and we have great musicians. And so I hope to see you, if not today, some Sunday soon. God bless you and have a good week.